New tonight, a disturbing story in Floyd County. A man charged with killing his grandmother and hiding her body in a freezer. Floyd County police say he kept her body in the freezer for months. Fox 5's Denise Dillon talked to investigators about the heinous crime. This is one of those stories it's just hard to believe and it gets even worse. Investigators say the woman was still alive when she was placed in the freezer. She lived here with her grandson in this apartment. He absolutely loved his grandmother. He said that was the only family member that really gave him the courtesy and love and attention that he really needed. Robert Tincher and his 82 year old grandmother Doris Cumming lived together in this Floyd County apartment. Police say in late December the grandmother slipped and fell. Investigators say the grandson fearing he would be arrested on a previous warrant involving threats over social media against his wife did not call 911. He removed her from the bathroom, uh, placed her in some plastic bags, brought her into the kitchen where he placed her into the freezer. According to the warrant, Tincher acknowledged her back broke going into the freezer. Investigators say Tincher told them she was still alive. From what we can determine at the time, he believed that she was still breathing and had some movement at the time she was going into the freezer. He actually told you that, right? Yes. Police say he left her in that freezer for months. At one point, he even moved the freezer to another location. Police discovered the gruesome crime when a family member contacted them, concerned because they hadn't heard from the elderly woman. Investigator Brittany Werner never imagined she'd be handling a case so gruesome. Never expected this in our county. Things that you read about, watch TV, and you don't really think that they happen until you find out they happen. The woman's body was taken to the GBI crime lab for an autopsy, which will determine the cause of death and when the woman died. In Floyd County, Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News.